Welcome to the Interesting Podcast, episode number 49. This episode is my buddy Joe Fab. Joe and I are both in the Everglades squad of the Florida Garrison of the 501st. And uh, this is cool. Uh, when I started this podcast a long time ago, um, I used to record guests at conventions, and I would bring my equipment and I would set it up at tables and whatnot. And I always meant to have Joe on, but we were always busy and would run out of time and whatever. But uh, not anymore. Had him on. Uh, we talk a lot about uh, hockey. Joe's a big Penguins fan. Uh, Pennsylvania. Learned a lot about that. Um, a lot of this is the 501st because we're both in it. And Joe is actually uh, Clone Joe, I call him. Uh, he builds clones, uh, spe- more specifically animated. Uh, but we talk about how um, different builds that he's done. We talk about different troops that he's done. Uh, the difference between realistic clones, which are like movie clones you've seen on screen, and animated clones from the Clone Wars series. Um, we talk about how he wasn't originally into Star Wars as a kid and how that uh, went around. We talk about Star Wars Weekends, trooping at that back when that was a thing. Uh, but Joe also works for uh, the TSA, which is uh, quite interesting. Learn a lot about what goes on there. Because, um, you know, with no frame of reference, I had no idea. Uh, so that, w- that was actually, that was really cool. It's really cool. I think you guys are going to enjoy this. Uh, so without further ado, here's the interesting podcast, episode number 49 with Joe Fab. Theme song time. Yes. So, dude, Rebels. Rebels. Not, not okay. I teared not up. okay at all. I teared yeah. Up. I'm not yeah. Going. I was cutting some onions. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was crying because I'm a man. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> it's okay dude, to cry. It has to be, right? That's yeah. what makes us human. That's what I tell myself. Yeah. Well, it, takes a, it takes a man secure enough in his masculinity to let them rise water. <laughs> That is absolutely right. Yeah. While, watch, while watching a kid's cartoon, nonetheless. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so you know they're good. But no, absolutely. It, it was it was very uh it was very heavy handed. It's like this is bad. This is not something bad is gonna happen. Yeah, I um, mean the music was ominous and Yeah. Like I said, you, you could just tell in the dialogue, you know, it was coming. Something yeah. was coming. Agreed. Agreed. Yeah. But I mean, I like the way he went out. He went out like yeah. a real like a real Jedi. Yeah, absolutely. You know, that was great. Um, I like how he got his sight back for a brief second. That was yeah, cool. Yeah, that, that was, was really cool. Like, I'm, I'm taking that as like he became, like he knew he was becoming one with the Force. Yeah. So somehow, I'll wait for Filoni to explain it, but <laughs> yeah, for that's, real. that's my take on it. I was uh, I was watching Recon afterwards, and, okay. I, was, and I was like, well, um, the show made me cry, and Recon made it worse. <laughs> <laughs> I got to watch the Recon. I haven't watched it yet. Oh, it's rough, man. Yeah, all it's, right, I'll check it out. It is rough. I mean, dude, Kanan. Like, yeah. Of all the people. I mean, it, it well, makes sense, but it doesn't make it easier. You know? Like, you know it's coming because they but, have to. Yeah. Something has to happen to all of them because, um, like, in, in Rogue One, you hear him call, you see Chopper, and you hear him call Hera, so you know they're okay. Yep. But, you know, Zeb, Sabine, Ezra, and Kanan, their, their fate is still undecided. Well, Canons has been decided, but yeah, oh, too soon. <laughs> yeah, too soon. But it was good. I, you know, Jedi are my thing. Yeah, and I loved that moment because that was like a true Jedi sacrifice. Like that's what that is their spot. That is their part in the galaxy is to get in between the good people and the bad thing. Absolutely, and, uh, Ahsoka did the same thing. It, exactly, like literally the exact same thing. Pushed Ezra, yep. out of the way, and then Darth Vader was there. So it's yeah. It's oh. like she knows Ezra's going to be the bigger piece to play in the in the chess game, and I think Kanan felt the same way. Yeah, with with Hera, so like they have more, they serve more of a purpose than the Jedi do. Agreed. God, it's so sad. Yeah. It's so sad, but you yeah. know what? It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. Hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> this is why the Jedi don't need to end. 
I'm like, they're, that's right. they're important. They're yep. very important. People are like, no, it's got to go. <laughs> Jedi ruined everything. It's like, no, no, they didn't. Go away. <laughs> You're wrong. <laughs> yes, yes. But God, I love it. Um, So well, I always like to ask people at the beginning, you're, I'm assuming by your sports allegiances, you're from Pennsylvania. Yep, Pittsburgh. Really? Yes, sir. I have never been. Oh, great city. Yeah, um, I've been to Philadelphia. Well, I'm biased. <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure. How is it compared um, to Philly? Because that's my only frame of reference. You know, I'll tell you, I've never been to Philly. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you tell me about Philly, I'll tell you about Pittsburgh. Uh, uh, Philly is big, and uh, it's a city. And, um, uh, yep. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Pittsburgh would... is big. It's known for his bridges. Bridges. Okay. Bridges. I think there's like over 400 bridges in the city alone. Good Lord. Um, cause there's the three rivers downtown. So sure. all the bridges across all said rivers. Sure. Uh, don't quote me on the 400. I'm probably wrong on that. Gotcha. But, Did... uh, it's, uh, it's dirty. I don't think it's dirty anymore. When I was a kid, it was a dirty city, but yeah, I think that Philly, Philly's pretty dirty. Yeah. Yeah. So... I think cities are dirty. Yeah. By and large. Yeah. Someone thing my parents tell me, always told me, oh, the city was so dirty. I'm like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> like, I love it. You don't have to like it, but I love it. That's right. So oh. w- when did you move to Florida? And did you go from Pennsylvania j- to Florida or did you bounce Straight around a little bit? Straight to Florida. Straight to Florida. Um, Florida. We, owned a, we had a condo down here when I was a kid, so we'd come down here for vacation every year, cool. my parents and I. Um, but we made the move back in uh, 1997 when I was 13. So. Okay. I'm still attached to Pittsburgh just from being from there. Um, sure. I've been I've been back twice in the 21 years that I've been gone from it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, my parents retired and we moved down here, and I've been in West Palm Beach ever since. Right on. Right on. Yeah. Do you could you consider West Palm Beach home, or do you consider Pittsburgh home? I still consider Pittsburgh home. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm one of those. I think it's like if you're from somewhere else, you may consider that home still. Sure. Yeah. Um, you know, there's a lot of people who are like, "Oh, I don't know anybody from that's born and raised in Florida." My three best friends are born and raised in Florida. <laughs> yeah, my fiance yeah. is born and raised in Florida, and I was like, "You're, okay. like, a, you're like a unicorn." Yeah. Like, you're you're I... actually from here? <laughs> yeah, my wife born and raised in Florida. So. Yeah, it's so strange. Yeah, it's very. <laughs> but yeah, I'm with you there. I had a guy on my show. His name's Ryan Donahoe. Okay. And he was born in L.A. and then moved to uh, Tennessee, I believe. And we had that conversation because I was born in North Carolina, and then at six years old, I moved down here. But I've always called North Carolina home. Yeah. And I've been four or five times since. Okay. Uh, but it's like a weird thing. We are like, I, I, I'm, I live here, but you know, I'm from. Anytime I go in anywhere, and they're like, "Where are you from?" I'm always like, "Well, originally I'm from North Carolina, but I live yeah. in Florida." You know. Right. It's such a weird thing. Yeah. But okay, okay. So you moved down here when you were thirteen. So you went to high school. Thirteen. Yeah, I went to high school down here. One year of middle school, four years of high school. Gotcha. Um, gotcha. One year of summer school. Cool. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gotcha. Did you? Because I know you're an avid sports fan. Penguins. Big Penguins yes. guy. Yes. Big big hockey guy. Big hockey. Did you play you know, hockey growing up? I did. Uh, played goalie. Sweet. The best yes, position. The best position. Um, after I did a couple years at goalie, and then I moved up to left wing. Sweet. Um, I love playing goalie, but I like the left wing better because the pr- the pressure wasn't on me to make all the saves. Sure, yeah, <laughs> good point. <laughs> and I had really good people on my team, so there was no pressure on me to score a lot of goals either. So I just had fun with it. Sure, sure. <laughs> That's like one extra thing you and Filoni have. Yeah. It's a diehard Penguins fan. Yep. Have, have I you... wish I could meet the man himself, but one day, one day, one Joe. Day. One day. Your clone, Joe. That's right. I tried at Celebration, but we'll get to that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll get there. We'll get there. Have you ever been to a Penguins game? Uh, yes, several. Um, is it amazing? They are hockey. A hockey game in person is unlike anything else. Um, sure. Everybody, everybody says you know hockey, hockey's boring to watch. Just like I think you know, I wasn't I wasn't to baseball a couple of years ago. Back before the Miami Marlins became the Miami Marlins, I was a big <laughs> I was a big Florida Marlin fan. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Thanks to a friend of mine. Sure. Um, cause the pirates have always just been garbage ever yeah. since I've known them. <laughs> beer, um, beer, beer. yeah. <laughs> um, where was I going? Oh, so hockey, um, yes. hockey in person, unlike anything else. I mean, the action is just so fast paced back and forth. It's great. I, uh, Agreed. yes, I took my sister-in-law to her first hockey game last year for my bachelor party <laughs> when, the Peng- when the penguins played the panthers what? i had a yeah i had a buddy who couldn't make it so i offered her to go she's like yeah i'll go and then like she fell in love with the sport so 
But um, like people say, you know, baseball's boring to watch on TV. It's boring in person. It's, you know, <laughs> I, I don't know. It's so just long. Like, yeah, just like, well, it's like the same thing with soccer. It's I can't get behind kicking a ball around a field for however long they do it. Yeah. But hockey, Dude. kind of the same premise. You're going back and forth, but it's so fast paced that it's, it's not boring at all. That is true. That that's a good way to look at it. I I've never been to an NHL game, but we have over here the Florida Everblades. Yeah. And I've been to like ten of those games. I love hockey in person. Oh, hockey is amazing. It's so cool. And I my uh my we just took my brother when he was down here like maybe a month or two ago to an Everblades game. Him, his wife, and uh, he had his baby, and his wife had never been to a hockey game before. Okay. Uh, to my understanding, she's probably gonna listen to this and be like, "Yes, I have." Uh, but <laughs> I'm going to assume she hasn't because right after that, they moved to uh, Clarksville in Tennessee, which is like an hour outside of Nashville. All right. And now they go to like a ton of Predators games. Yeah. And it's like a big uh, thing. It's right. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. cool. I like I like soccer. I'm not going to lie. I've never gotten it. I mean, I played it when I was a kid. I just couldn't get into it. I don't know why. Me, soccer is like it's like football, but there's an interception every like three to five seconds. Oh, okay. And it's near impossible to score, and that's why when they do, they, like, yell for three minutes straight. Okay. It's, it's hockey minus the sticks in the ice. Okay. <laughs> and a lot of uh, endurance for running. Yeah, for real. They run <laughs> miles. Yeah, could, couldn't understand it. I wonder what I will, hockey players' ankles are like. Um, to tell, I mean, I never played ice hockey. I played roller. Okay. But I will tell you... The way they tape their skates around their ankles, they can't be too bad. Yeah. But I could be wrong. <laughs> I've never seen it. So have you done the whole, like, when they're coming through, like, high-five them? Have you high-fived yes. a penguin? I have fist-bumped a penguin. Sweet. Um, actually, but it was he was playing for the Panthers when I did it. It was uh, Yammer Yager. Sweet. Um, when I was a kid, my parents took me to go meet him in person. And we waited in line for, I want to say, four or five hours at Dick's Sporting Goods. And he finally showed up. Mm-hmm. And he did. My I was young, so I was like, "Oh, this is great, wonderful." I, and the time flew by to me. And sure. Um, but my parents, you know, they're there all day. They're grumpy and like, "Why are we wasting our time with this?" He, <laughs> he apparently he was there for like twenty minutes or something. According to my parents, he was there for like twenty minutes, and then he left. I'm like, "Okay, that's disappointing." Yeah. <laughs> and my dad was all pissed off. Like this guy can't even like walk by the line and high five everybody's hands or sure. whatever. Sure. And so like, I held a grudge for like twenty years, and then. Um, <laughs> We had uh, Star Wars night at the Panther game. Yes. Um, Star Wars night at the Panther game for the squad um, a couple years ago, and I would I went down for warm ups in dressed in boomer and um, got to stand on the other side of the tunnel where the fans couldn't be. Nice. Just in, during, you know, since you're in caution, they let you do whatever and go wherever you want. So I That's went right. down to the one side and I uh, stuck my fist out for you when a yogger came by and he fist bumped me in costume. So sweet. That's that 20, picture. I've twenty years it. later, I got. Yep, there it is. I finally got it. There you go. It's all oh. about the long game, man. That's right. So, do it's you right. do you remember when we met? Because I feel like it was that Christmas banquet thing. It was. Were you there for that? I was there one year for that. I was there. I was there the year at, as like twenty, maybe fifteen or so. It was the Miami Children's Cancer Center troop. Yeah, I want to say it was fourteen or fifteen. Yeah, yeah. I was in that one. I had my like double bladed lightsaber that was way too long. I didn't put, like, the shorter blades. Right. It was either that. My first troop ever, though, was um, uh, Costco. It was a Costco, okay. It was a Costco in Miami, and we just, like, yep. walked around getting donations for that. <laughs> yeah, I haven't done that one yet. Yeah, it's a, it was a tough one. Yeah. But um, I, I can't remember the first time we met, because we hang out every single time we troop. Right. I think, I want to say it was at a con, but I don't recall. Right. It was either the it was either the, the Christmas troop or, the, or a con. It was a something. Random it was con. something. <laughs> something it's been a while yeah been but while. i know you've been trying to get me on for a while and we're finally doing it that's right that's right it's yeah. been, i've this i think august i've had this podcast for three years three years already three, wow i know and i I've thought been, it was only like one and a half or two but you three years i thought the same yeah yes yeah, three, no. three years ago i believe i opened the soundcloud account and started awesome. uploading and then i like was very sporadic last year like the first year i was uploading like you know once every year I don't couple know. Couple months. Yeah, a couple months. Yeah. And then it was even less the following year. Right. But since this year I've been killing it. You're killing it, man. I saw. Like you had uh McKenna on a couple weeks ago and then the the guy from Rogue One and now another one. Boom, boom, boom. Oh yeah. Wait till you see who's coming up. I can't wait. It's <laughs> happening. I have some, uh-huh. it's it's rough because I've I'm 
at the point now where I'm recording like months ahead of time. Right. So I'll have like really, really amazing chats with people and I'll learn a ton of stuff and I want to get it out as soon as possible. But I'm like, okay, your episode will be out the end of next month. Oh, <laughs> uh, this is horrible. <laughs> so last week I had like a moment of weakness. I was on Twitter. I was like, hey, everyone. So like, is once a week cool or like, can I do more? And everyone's, yeah. like, and everyone's like, no, once a week's cool. I'm like, I'm probably going to do it more anyway. Cause do it more. It's, yeah. it's my show. I can do what I want. Exactly. If you got the time, do it. I know. I know. And, right. and the people. That's the crazy the part. People. That's the crazy part is like people willing to uh, give me their time. Yeah, absolutely. Because time, in my opinion, is the most important thing you can give someone. That's right. And uh, it's so strange, man. But so who's the – if you could pick anybody to talk to, who would it be? Ahmed Best. Okay. Ahmed Best is like my dream guest. Not Liam Neeson, man? I, I would freeze. <laughs> I would freeze. I don't know what to say to you. Dude, Liam Neeson is the one person that – like I know – I could talk to George Lucas – before I could carry on a coherent conversation with Liam Neeson. <laughs> like, you have no idea. He's he's the guy where I'm like, what would we talk about? I would just yeah. be like, you, your fictional characters changed my life. Absolutely. <laughs> but, but, like, yeah, my, my as it stands right now, my dream guest is Ahmed Best. Okay. Because he, like, I think he's an incredible performer. I think, yep. he, I think he was on the precipice of things that changed the future of, of the industry and technology. And the fact that he dealt with so much, in my opinion, unwarranted hate absolutely, and, and came out on the other side of it, it takes a very, very strong person to be able to do that, especially yep. actors who put so much into of themselves into these roles and to still be tough enough to do that. And I just think he's incredible. I think he's yeah. very, very good. So I, I would love to talk to him about that just because it's a very special kind of person who can deal with that and come out on the other side. Uh, yeah, so... That's public now. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good, man. But uh, so I know you threw the five hundred first. Yep. When did you get started? I got started in two thousand and twelve. I'm going on my sixth year now. Sweet. What was your first yes. build? First build. Movie clone phase two. Phase is it phase? Yeah, phase what? two. What? Oppo was your first? Yep. Oppo was my first. That's insane. Yep. You went with the hardest kit to build. I went with the hardest kit to build. <laughs> Because everybody had a stormtrooper, and I didn't want to be like everybody else, and I still don't want to be like everybody else. I feel I like, like I like being different. I, same. I'm one of I like mean, three or four of the 442nd clones in the yep, Legion. Yep. I'm with I'm, you. I was the third boomer. I was the third hound. Yep. <laughs> I got a thing for threes all of a sudden. All right. Nothing wrong. Um, with yeah, but now there's like eight more boomer builds on the boards, and two more hounds coming. So. Yeah. Hey, when you do something good, it inspires. Uh, yeah, I guess, right? Yeah, I guess so. Um, no, I was joined in 2012. Mm -hmm. um, had Apo for a year, year and a half, and then I said, "All right, I'm tired of walking around in movie armor. So <laughs> what's what's more comfortable?" So I tried it on the, an ARF at a buddy's at a friend's house and mm -hmm. um, fell in love with the ARF. It was like so much easier to wear the animated armor. So I got one of those, and I'm more of an animated guy now. <laughs> You've you've changed, Joe. I've converted. I had never watched the show either. I had never watched Clone Wars before building uh, the ARF. Really? Yeah. So you came to Clone Wars pretty late then. Yeah, I did. Very late. Gotcha. That's okay. McKenna didn't show up until like way late in the Clone Wars. <laughs> yeah, I still haven't seen them all. I tried to watch them all. I was I listened to that podcast, so I, I said oh, let me throw on Clone Wars the other night because I was bored. Nothing was on TV, so I threw it on. And I'm watching it on Netflix, and they're all out of order. I'm like, what's going on? Oh, weird. Yeah, you gotta... They, they just introduced uh, Echo, and then two episodes later, he's dead. What? What? Yeah, oh, it's weird. <laughs> it's very strange. There's a there's a list online that has, like, the chronological episode order. Okay. Where you can watch them in the order that they occurred in-universe. Okay. Because it gets really confusing, especially the oh, first... Oh, so somebody week. took their time to do that, or like is that did uh, or did Netflix jumble it all up? Do you know? Uh, No, that's how it was released. How oh, okay. How Netflix did it is how it came out. That's weird. It's very weird. It was like, <laughs> let's go to this random part of the Clone Wars and show you yeah. this. And then, it like, I don't know what the... I should get someone on who, like, wrote that was the pretty Clone good. Wars. That, that was came. a pretty good voiceover, by the way, right there. Thanks, thanks. I've got two voices, my own and that one. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's very strange. But StarWars.com did release uh, a chronological list of the order in which they occurred in-universe. So they had to sit down and watch them all and put them into an order. Wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. And, and like, wait, okay, so fives is still, he echoes here. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Well, then this is back. 
Wow. Like, like I know, I think the obviously <laughs> the movies first. Yep. And then it's like the Yoda episode. Um, and then the it's like episode one, and then everything. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like episode one, and then it's like episode seven, <laughs> and then five, and then nine, and then it's it's very wow. it's very yeah. strange. Yeah. Yeah, it's like it's like looking uh, uh, back at a war and getting newspapers from the whole time and just like scrounging through the pile and picking up one from here and one from here. Yeah. I want to read this article today. Exactly. Wait, <laughs> he's still around? That's weird. But so how long did it take you to build Apo? Um, Apo took me about six or seven months, if I recall correctly. Okay, that makes me feel maybe better. A, maybe a little longer. Um, did you do it by yourself, or did you have help? No, I had no clue what I was doing when I joined. No clue. Really? I didn't know. I didn't know what a mouse sander was. I didn't know what Bondo was. Sure. I had no idea. So, I threw an armor party at my house. I had some people come over, Sweet. and they helped me get started. And then I met a guy named Brandon Ippolito, who is who is in our squad still. He's just very busy with real life. Sure. Um, but he was the clone guy back then. Gotcha. So I got in touch with him, and I was at his house, you know, once a week when I could, or once every two weeks, and we, you know, he'd show me what to do, and then I would build, you know, I'd work on. He would guide me, and I'd work on it rather than have him like do the work for me, you know. Right. Um, so he showed me what to do, and I went from it there. I went with it from there, and here I am five years later, and I'm cranking them out quickly now. <laughs> yeah. Well, animated clones. Animated, yes, <laughs> yes. I get, I get a lot, I get a lot of messages about movie clones, and I'm like, for a movie clone, you have to build it to your body. Yep. Agreed. You have to. Like, there's no... There's, like, there's 19 no... pieces. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's no way that I can just put it together and it's going to fit you. Like, an animated, you can get away with that. Right, right. I can, you build got... it to, I can build it to spec, and then it should... It's either going to fit you or it's not. And if it doesn't, you can sell it and get your money back, or you can trim it to make it fit you here and there. But a movie clone, there's no way, because it's so, it's so different yes. of how it's assembled. Very, very different. Very different. It, it took me nine months to build my clone. Okay. And that it's was not bad. that was with Johan's help. Okay. He cranked out his clone. This is how amazing Johan is, and I'm gonna have him on eventually as well. Nice. Uh, he made a movie clone from brown box to approved in three weeks. Holy Yeah. Crap. <laughs> oh no, you can say whatever you want. Three weeks. Okay. Brown box to approved? Brown box to approved three Damn. weeks. It was insane. That's crazy. I know. If I if I had the time, if I had a week off of work and I just sat down, brown box to animated clone, I could probably do it in a week. That's insane. Or less if I just sat in the garage from like 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. every day. Sure. But like I'm, I'm busy with work. I'm busy with family life. It's just, you know, I try to do them quickly for people to turn them around at the same time. But I'm just like. Sure. I've, I've had a couple clones in the garage now for since November that I'm just now like. Crank, starting to crank out. Sure, that makes sense. It's a lot yeah. of work. And I tell the people up front, I'm like, look, I, I, I get to it when I can. I work a 40, 40 plus hour, you know, full time job for the government. I mean, my time is spread thin here and there. And I'm, I just finished. Well, I'm not finished yet, but I'm just finishing up remodeling my kitchen. So my time last year was precious. Sure, you know? sure. But I'm finally getting back to it, and it's fun to be in the garage again and work on armor and. I had that push where I was I built five costumes in three months for celebration. Sheesh. <laughs> that got me into the into the uh, commission part of it. That's amazing. So okay, okay. You, you got Oppo, and then what? Did then you... I went to then I went to Boomer. Boomer from Oppo, really? Oh yeah. So you you just you've never had like soft parts <laughs> until nope. later. I've, yeah, I, I don't think I've had a soft costume. Oh yeah, the Rebel costume. That's about it. Yeah, Rebel yeah, costume. Rebel, Rebel trooper. Dude. Um. No, I've never had a full soft costume. That's pretty ballsy for your first costume to be the hardest one to build. Hard one, yeah. Well done. I remember when I told you, I was like, clones. Like, from the very beginning, I was like, I want to do a phase two realistic clones with the green markings. Mm-hmm. And I was like, who can I get to? I was like, are you the clone guy to help me out? You're like, animated or realistic? <laughs> I was like, realistic. You're like, good luck. <laughs> good luck. Yeah, that's my first question. I'm like, oh, God, realistic. No, it's so difficult. It's so, uh, so much more work. Just look at the is. pieces. I mean, yeah. You've got, correct me if I'm wrong, the animated, the elbow and the forearm is one piece, and correct. the knee and the uh, shins are one piece. Correct. And how is the, how is building it different outside of those pieces? Like, the ab piece is different. The, the ab piece can, for a well, for season one and three, they it you glue it on one side and velcro the other. Oh, okay. On the side, on the sides. 
um, on season four through six, you glue the sides on both sides, and it connects in the back like a movie clone. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Weird. Uh, yeah. Very strange armor. Can you? That was a I've seen a picture issue. of you sitting. Yes, I sat in Boomer. That's amazing. Yes. That is, for anyone that doesn't know, that is an accomplishment to be able it to. It is sit. an accomplishment, <laughs> and you can. And I've kneeled in it. I can get down on one knee. Dude. Um. You doing you know. that in a realistic? No. <laughs> You're always afraid you're going to break something. You're like, I don't want to risk it. And then you're just like, yeah, I'm going to go for it, whatever. It's, I think it's really funny when you're in realistic how much noise you make when you walk. Oh, clack, clack, clack. Yeah, because there's, there's so many yep. pieces. All the plastic clanking against each other. Yep. It's good stuff. Yeah. So, Boomer. Why Boomer? Boomer's like your thing. And I, boomer love, is, I love that I, you have a thing. I feel like, I'm, I, feel like I am Boomer. Um, you are Boomer. No. Uh, <laughs> why, why Boomer? Let's see. I, wanted, I knew I wanted to do an arc just because I love the menacing look of the helmet. Yes. A little um, thin tail thing on the back of the head. Yes. Guy in our squad had the camo arf. Yep. Um, so I didn't want to do that one because there was already one of those. Right. I didn't want to do. I didn't want to do a plain white arf because they. I just like to me as a stormtrooper. I didn't want. I don't want, want to do a grunt. I want to have some color, splash of color sure. or something. Sure. Um, I think the wolf pack arf Wiley with the red on the helmet. It was just too. Besides the red on the helmet, it was too plain to me. Sure. Um. So I started look. I looked in the uh, database. The C or the uh, CRLs through the CRLs and clone troopers back then, and I think the only other one was Boomer. Really, there was a CRL right. for Boomer. Yeah, there was a CRL for Boomer. Right on. Yeah, a guy named Scott in Colorado did the first one. Manger, and uh, Manger, Mangler, 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 Mangler Fleisch. Yep. Mangler Fleisch. Yes. He had the first Boomer, um, and then Lee out in Arizona had the second Boomer. Sweet. And there was no reference photos at all because he's from a video game. I was wondering. He's only in the Clone Wars game. Only in the video game. And now he's no longer canon, and I'm extremely upset. And... So, was this before the CRL required, like, two or three different references? I think with the um, video game, and, like, I think there was an act, well, no, there was an action figure because I had one custom made. I think, <laughs> yeah, it, it must have been. It must have been before we, we required three references. Makes sense. That was that was a dumb question because yeah, no, no, <laughs> <that's a dumb laughs> as I as I'm repeating it, I'm like obviously. Yeah. If so there's... since there was no since there were no references, I I signed up on the Dune Sea Garrison forums, really? and I'm and I yeah I posted on there. I'm like, hey, I'm from Florida, and I'm trying to reach this guy named Lee. Does uh, anybody <laughs> know how I can get a hold of him? And he's like, yeah, here he is. And so I messaged him like, hey man, do you have pictures of Boomer? Because I'm trying to make him. And he goes, yeah. And he sent me all these pictures, and I fell in love with it. I'm like, that is just awesome looking. You're right. And, and so I built it, and then I was so scared to weather him that I didn't weather him for like three months. And I trooped, I trooped him in Star Wars weekends with no weathering. So he's just like stark white with a strip of bright blue right down the middle of him. Sweet. Those pictures are on the Facebook there still. They're, yeah, it's like night and day from what I've done to him now. Oh, yeah. Now he's like a yeah. mud trooper. <laughs> yeah. Dirtiest clone you'll ever see. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I was the same way with my clone. I was like, we'll do We'll do a little bit, we'll, you know, make, yeah. him, make him kind of dirty. And you're like, no, dude, just way more, way more. Yeah, I don't want to mess it up, though. No, <laughs> you, you won't. You can't. Exactly. I, was like, <laughs> I don't want to mess it up. I still want to see green, though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm with you. So, Boomer, what, what was your first troop ever? Uh, Boomer? Um, or first troop ever? Uh, ever. Ever? Uh, Florida Marlins game. Wow. Again, the Mets down at the, down at the new ballpark down there. Really? So how yep. how was your first trooping experience? First troop was great. Um, we had uh, myself as the five hundred first Apo, or no? I, so no, I, I'm sorry, I didn't have Apo done yet. I just I didn't have the pauldron or the or uh, yeah, the pauldron wasn't done. So I just wore as a regular five hundred first grunt. Really? Yeah. And I just remember that because I'm looking at a picture on my wall from of me wearing the five hundred first grunt. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, so I wore that. We had another guy, uh, you know Wallace. Uh, he yep, had a five hundred first. Yeah, he had a five hundred first grunt. So he wore his. When Ryan dressed up as Obi Wan. Oh, sweet. So we had a little, uh, little clone little, section. Uh, yeah, a little clone section. And then like we had Brandon and he had Bly. We had Brandon with Bly, and I think we had uh, Don wore his movie style Rex. So That's we had the awesome. four. Yeah, we had four clones, and Ryan is a Jedi. So we uh, kind of took over the. Uh, and that was right. That was 2012. So right when Clone Wars was kind of ending, but yeah. clones were still the, the main thing. So, sure. Yeah. No, I had a lot of fun. And then I went online looking for pictures, like on Google Images, the next day, and one popped up of me standing behind home plate right before the game started. Sweet. Yeah. So I, I'm like, oh, that's awesome. Click. That was a cool experience. Sure. Sure. 
Right. Yeah. So, and then my first troop with Boomer was a baseball game. So I have a thing for there baseball games in first troops. I don't know why. Dude, <laughs> so, uh, that's pretty funny that you're building Apo, and then a troop's coming up. You're like, let's just get the grunt in, and then yeah. add some, add some, uh, some extra pieces. It's like two costumes in one. Yeah. There you go. That's yeah. it's kind of what I did with to get five hundred first approval. I went with the crewman. Yep. And then I was like, let's just add gloves and a compad, and now I'm a tie reserve. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, the, the, that one, man. You could add anything to that. You could be an Imperial ground crew. You could be a yeah. Put, uh, put you could, helmet and armor. Yeah, you put a, yeah, exactly. Put another helmet. You're a you know you could be a bridge crew or something. Or you know if you take That's the right. coat cylinders out and add a belt box in the back, you know whatever. You're like twelve costumes in one. Yeah, it's great. That's what I <laughs> I always recommend that to anyone who's like I want to be in the five hundred first. I was like, here's a dude. Crewman. Yeah, if you just want to if you just want to jump in, there you go. Crewman's way to go. It's the cheapest costume and it's yeah. the base for so many. So many. So is, is Boomer yeah. is Boomer your favorite out of all your costumes? Boomer is my favorite still. I need to get new pieces though to to rebuild him. Uh-huh. Um I gained a little weight a couple years ago. Sure. And uh yeah, put on thir- you know, you put on an extra 30 pounds and <laughs> yeah. You get comfortable, you put on 30 pounds, stuff goes, you know, you can't fit in your armor anymore. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Um you know, so I cut them right. I just cut them down the middle. Cut them in half. There you on go. the side, on the sides, and the hip, on the uh, ab piece, and the hip pieces. And I made them wider so I could fit into it. And now I've lost all the weight, and now it looks ridiculous on me. So <laughs> it does not look good at all. And I can tell in photos. I'm just like, uh, people are like, you can't tell. No, you can tell. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the five hundred first will tell you because we can. Tell. Yes, exactly. When you have a CRL that's comprehensive, yep. you're like, wait a minute, this stripe is off. Yeah, I'm built like I'm building regular costumes now for like my daughter to go trick or treating, and I'm like, she's like, it doesn't have to be perfect. No, it has to be perfect. <laughs> I have a strict guideline that I have to work by. That's right. You're like, you don't understand. This is gonna be the CRL. This is gonna be it. <laughs> Speaking of, Johan just finished uh, the Jetta Stormtrooper. Oh Rogue yeah. One. He's gonna be Very the nice. CRL. That's sweet. Yeah, it's pretty badass. Very cool. I was hoping to get my wife's uh, ground crew from Rogue One as the CRL, but I couldn't find info on the jumpsuit but now i guess it's out there so i gotta go buy her a jumpsuit now uh, of course uh, it was the only thing we didn't have that's what's really funny specifically in like the costuming community it's a lot of like get out there first yeah and, and like especially with props like the rpf people yep. be like i saw a trailer and i'm gonna make a jacket and people get on here and buy it i was like you guys you need to wait perfect example <laughs> first order stormtrooper helmet yes you know how many people tried to just make that real quick, and they were all wrong. And I'm yep. like, why are you buying this? Like, it's, we don't have we don't have HD. We don't have close up. You don't have you don't have anything in the back. What's the back look like? It doesn't matter. I guess it's okay. Sure. Yeah, right. I, I mean, <laughs> if you want to spend four hundred dollars, <laughs> yeah, go for it. And then months worth of work fixing it. Yep. I I almost bought. There was a guy on the RPF who was making um, Finn's jacket. Okay. When Episode Seven came out, and mm-hmm. I was like, okay, I really really want this jacket. And it was like real leather and everything, and he was showing all these pictures, and people were just like, I mean, it was like four hundred dollars too. So I was like, huge. Yeah. And then he was putting up these pictures, and I'm looking at it, and I was like, that strap is wrong. And there's, two <laughs> things, and I was like, you got two holes when there's only one in the actual jet. What is happening? And people were just yeah. signing up. I'll take then, it. I'll take it. Yeah, for real. And I told him I was like, put me interested. And then when it Won't came you? time, he <laughs> he got the final like, okay, here's a picture of what it is. I got one back. And I was like, there's so many things wrong. And I got a message from him, and he's like, hey, man, like you're on the list. You ready to ready to pay? I was like, not unless you're going to fix this and this and this and this and this. <laughs> I was like, sorry, man, I can't do it. Yeah, can't do it. It's like you got, it's, it, if, if you're going to pay like premium price, it better be accurate. That's right. But, you know, that's just how our brains work. Yeah. So why is Boomer your favorite? Um, Boomer, I think, is my favorite just because um... – I don't know. <laughs> right? He just is. It just is. I mean, I think you know. It's because uh, I love I loved Star Wars weekends when Star Wars weekends was around, and I loved being able to troop with him in Star Wars weekends. And I think it's my the the main reason is because he's just not canon, and he's not out there sure, as he's much like, as he's like the lone wolf. Now. Yeah, like you know, like Rex is so popular and Cody is so popular, and sure, I think it's just because it's you know it's it's different. I'm with you. I, I, I have a cabbage person. Yeah. <laughs> so. Just like your 442nd. Different. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I'm with you. And yeah, you're, always you're, you're, you know, the cabbage guy. Different. Like, hey. Yeah. And look what happened there. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Blew up. Blew it up. <laughs> it's, it's funny how, um, uh, so my logo for this podcast, a lot of people I've talked to think that it's a brain, like a green brain, and then lightsabers yeah. and headphones. I was like, no, no, no it's a cabbage. Yeah. Oh. 
Oh, so, yeah. when you listen to it, it says my cabbages. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> the quote's Look there. The pictures. Dude, I love that theme song so much. Oh, it's great. I got it on uh, Fiverr. Fiverr, yeah, I think I remember telling me that. Yeah, it's pretty great. Pretty great. Yeah. Anyone looking to get tiny little like freelance work, graphic design, music, whatever, Fiverr's the way to go. But be careful. Fiverr is the way to go. But be careful. Shop around first. <laughs> yes. Like if you saw the first logo that I got done, I was like, here's what I want. I want a cabbage, two lightsabers in the back, and then headphones. And he he sent me like clip art. It's like the most random request ever. <laughs> Isn't it? Isn't it? I was like, trust me, it'll make sense. Yeah. <laughs> It is a weird thing when you think about it. No, yeah, that's all good. It's got the cabbage because yeah. at the time that I released the podcast was like the height of my notoriety in, yeah. the, in the Florida con scene as the cabbage merchant. <laughs> the lightsabers because I'm Jedi Brian on all yep. platforms. All platforms. And those headphones are a pair of headphones I actually have when I oh, record. Oh, that's cool. Nice. Yeah, so it all it all makes sense in the end. Yeah. Do you have a uh, Do you have a dream costume you've always wanted to make but haven't yet? Dream costume. I've always liked Dark Malgus, Ooh, but dude. I have no clue where to start with that. Um, I made I made a seventh sister for my daughter, which was amazing. Thank you. Um, so I'd like to make a fifth brother just to troop with her. Ooh. But again, nobody's making armor, and I can't. I don't have the patience or the skill to do that. Sure. Just, my wife tells me, "Oh, you can make that." I don't know. It's it's a completely different animal. I have no way, no idea. I mean, I, I guess I could eventually learn how to start it, but I believe in you. Yeah. It's just a lot of work. Yeah, it's a lot of work, yeah. I'm just, I don't know, maybe one day. Fair. <laughs> um, I've tried to get outside of the Star Wars realm in costuming. I just can't seem to do it. Yeah, hey, nothing wrong I with don't that. Know, I don't know why, though. Like, I want I want to do other costumes. I just can't focus. I'm so ACD and OCD and ADHD. and ACDC. And... I'm everywhere. <laughs> I'm every letter of the alphabet. <laughs> Um, I made I made the shower from the Karate Kid. That's about that's one. There you go. There you go. Made that. Yeah. That's good. Did, that's good. Did, yeah, did that. Met met Ralph Macchio at a con with that. Yeah, that was cool. He he uh, he used my lightsaber. Oh yeah, we were, like, very cool. We were like hanging out at the booth, and he's like, "Can I can I twirl your lightsaber around?" I was like, "Of <laughs> course you can." Yes. Why not? Just you know, no kicks to the head. It's it like, don't crane kick me. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> I, well, it's funny. I was in line getting food at that con, and I'm and this guy turns around. And he's he asked me a question. I'm like. You're William Zabka. And he goes, yeah. And I'm like, that's awesome. William Zabka asked me a question. <laughs> okay. Like, sure. not, the mo- not the most famous guy, but, you know, still, you know, hey, he's, to, known, he's, known, right he's known. He's known. He's known. Yeah, exactly. Um, so I, I told him, you know, oh, hey, I built the shower costume. He goes, oh, that's cool. You know, I'm like, yeah, I want to go meet, um, you know, Macho with it. He goes, good luck with that. I'm like, okay, it's why? Well, he's kind of a jerk. I'm like, oh. Oh, man. Okay, so you guys still have a feud going on after all these years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then you like, just whisper to him, sweep the leg. Sweep the leg. Get him a body bag. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. So, But no, I'm saying that Netflix show's coming back out. I'm going to watch that. That looks cool. Right? We'll see what yep. happens. Yeah, why there's, not? There's so much good stuff coming out. Yeah. It's a good time to be a consumer. And it, 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 Indeed it is. I mean, Star Wars is, is everywhere. It's yes. So, it's so funny because I, I tell people – uh, when I when I invite them on at Central Quest and whatnot, I was like, this isn't a Star Wars podcast, but it will inevitably come up because <laughs> it typically is something that me and the guest have a mutual enjoyment of. Yes. Yeah, you know, it's like we all like it, so it's a good talking point to get to other places. But, I will uh, tell you, when growing up, I did I was not a fan. Yeah, that's that's the segue. Tell me I, why. What happened? I what don't know. I mean, child, were you, Joe? I wanted to play outside. Like I just wanted to. You can play Star Wars outside, Joe. I, but we didn't because it was all action figures and video games. And my friends are like, "Let's watch Star Wars," and I'm like, "This is really boring." And I'm like, "I want to go outside and play." And <laughs> and the next day, what are you doing? Let's watch Star. I don't want to watch Star Wars. I want, you know. <laughs> and it was like that was that way with like every kid in the neighborhood. We want to watch Star Wars. I'm like, fine, I'll sit down and watch it. So I watched it. I'm like, okay, this is okay. Like, <laughs> I like it. I don't know what got me. I think Phantom Menace got me back into it. Hell yeah! I, I will. I will admit, I like the prequels. Same. I, I'm. Uh, I'm not. A, I'm not afraid to admit it. Um, I. I am a prequel defense force captain. You know, why not? It's <laughs> right. part of the story. It's. It's. It's so good too. Yeah. People just don't get it. They I don't get understand. It. Where I. The, so the Star Wars fan base is very, very uh, interesting. It's very good. Because good-bye. we have the best people, but we also have the worst people. Agreed. In this fandom, and um, the prequels, dude. I love the prequels. It helps that I was like, you know, I was born in 91. Yep. So like, I'm a really big Jar Jar fan. I think he's great. 
So yeah. When I'm eight years old, I think he's hilarious. I watch it right? today and I still laugh. Like, <laughs> it's so good. And uh, it's just when you come in with preconceived notions with anything, you know, it, it, a lot of people, I believe, went and they're like, this isn't the Star Wars that I remembered, that I expected. Therefore, it is bad. And here we are, you know, 20, you know, almost 20 years from the prequels in this the same way. Yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. This is not what I expected. Yeah. <laughs> Episode How did eight. you kill Luke Skywalker? Right. It's like, well, think about it. Think about it. It makes sense. You have to. That's right. You missed it. He went out a hero and you didn't get it. Yeah. yeah. It's so funny how divisive it can be. It's like, just take it in context. Like, I remember, like, I have the weirdest defenses for stuff. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> like I remember episode two, right? A lot of people trash the dialogue at the lake house. You're like, yeah. oh, you know the weird, like, I hate sand. You know, I hate sand. Everything's, everything's rough and I like soft. So, so coarse. Yeah. It gets everywhere. And I, and I was thinking about that. I was like, okay, you say it's bad dialogue, but let's look at it within the context of the universe. This is a guy who grew up as a slave on a desert planet. Of Made course of sand. he hates sand. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, let's start there. That makes sense. Yep. Secondly, when he's like trying to flirt with her or whatever, this is a kid who's now a monk in training. You think yep. he knows how to flirt? Yeah, yeah. Here, let me cut this. Let me cut this pair for you with my mind. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> I was like, I was like, if you look at it in context, it's not that crazy or bad. We just look at it like, oh, it's just it makes no sense. It it does when you when you put a little more thought into it. But yeah, I can go all day the prequels, but I'm not yeah. gonna. You no, let's do it. It's it, I do prequel if defense force. Prequel defense force. <laughs> I can do a, yeah, I could do a whole thing. But you know what? People don't have to like it. That just means I have more yeah. Star Wars to enjoy. Well, I'll tell you, I didn't like Rebels when it first came out either. Yeah? Yeah, yeah it was like, you know, season one, it was just like, oh, here's an episode we're going to steal from the Empire and give to the people who need it, like Robin Hood style. And then the right. next episode, same thing. And the next episode, same thing. Sure. Like, where's the action? And then we'd have an episode of action. And then I'm like, yeah, it's getting somewhere. And nope, back to stealing. Yeah. <laughs> Fair. Then we got some action. I'm like, all right, we're good now. And now it's... Then, Great. Then Ahsoka shows up and you're like, I yeah. was wrong. It's wrong. Oh, hey, there's clones. Can we just mention Boomer at all? Can we just, yeah. like, mention his name and I'll be happy? We're the, we're the same. Your Boomer is my Qui-Gon. Right. Just, just let me hear his voice again, please. Just hear, like a mention. Like, you took, you ripped him out of cannon. That's right. Just put him in there somewhere. I don't care. A flashback scene or something. That's it. I'm trying so much. <laughs> Anytime there's any, like, possibility i was like so quagon like let's talk where's he yeah. where, what's going on what's going on with that because we know he was supposed to be in episode three now yeah. he's not uh are we gonna get a force ghost quagon and i like i've oh, I can't. Dude. dude i've hounded the story group about it i'm like let's talk let's figure this out <laughs> <laughs> and uh essentially they told me that he because they mentioned it at the end of the clone wars that he never finished his training yep so he can come back as a voice because you hear him in episode two yeah, you will. Um, you hear him, isn't he? Don't you hear his voice in, uh, in in some Rebels episodes or Clone Wars episodes or something? He's in Clone Wars as a. Force he's in Clone Wars. Wars. Okay, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, but the it wasn't because he was able to manifest himself like Yoda and Obi Wan are able to. It's okay. because they were on a planet that's very very strong in the Force. Oh, okay. So it was more about the setting than anything else. Gotcha. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm obsessed with Qui Gon. But yes. you work for the TSA. Am I correct? That is correct. How how did that come to be? Because that's a that's one of those jobs where you don't just like go to a job fair. No, or um, do you? <laughs> no, you don't. I needed a job, mm -hmm. and um, my mom works for TSA too. Oh, sweet! And she told me go apply, and I said okay. Why? She goes because the benefits are great, and you need health insurance. I'm like okay, mom. Done. I'll I will listen to you because you're my mother. Yeah, that's fair. And I applied, and I got the job, and I love it. I think it's great. How I mean, long have you been doing it? Five years. Same year as when I started uh, five oh first. Really? So five years ago was attorney right, for Joe Fast. Right on, right on par. Yep. <laughs> what what was uh what exactly does that job entail? Um, a lot of complaining from passengers. Oh really? Yes, because they don't understand. Like you gotta, you know, they, things change every single day. Really? Just be prepared. Sure. For any for anything, and it's why do I, like we just started this new thing where you have to take um. Pretty much everything out of your bag besides clothing. You have to take all of your electronics out, all of your food out, and all your liquids. Why? Really? I didn't know that. Because 
we can't see through your bag because you're packing so much shit in it. <laughs> uh, you know, that makes sense. Uh, we can, you know, you want to be safe or not? Like, Absolutely. You know. What, um, what kind of training goes into that? A lot. Yeah? Three, three months of training. Really? Uh, yeah, you're in a classroom setting every day. Uh, they've changed it now. They send you to Atlanta. Wow. Uh, yeah. So where they do training in Atlanta. Like they have like a whole like academy type thing up there now. Really? I, I haven't been because I was in before it, but Right, right. Yeah. Interesting. See I know yes. nothing, this is the this is another big thing I like about this show is peeling back layers that people don't realize. Right. And TSA is a very, very important job. It is. And okay, so there's like an academy sort of thing. Is there yep. a difference? In TSA agents, like the ones that's checking your IDs versus the ones that's at the metal detector scan thing versus... No, we, we're all the same. We all rotate positions every 30 minutes to an hour. So Really? Yep. I can check your ID one half hour. The next half hour, I'll be patting somebody down. The next half hour, I'll be looking at the x-ray. So. Huh. Why is yep. that? Why do they rotate? Just, uh, just so we don't get complacent, like can't leave somebody on the x-ray all day long. You know? Oh, that's fair. Or can't, you know, can't leave somebody to pat people down all day long and, you know, you could miss something. You could... Let something get by. Sure. Um, it's to could... stay alert. Exactly. That makes sense. Yeah. Man. Do you have a favorite position out of those? Um, Do you like I, like the X I like the X-ray. I like checking IDs. I'm fast. I'm good at it. I'm fast at it. Um, yeah. <laughs> Passengers you know. appreciate that. Yeah, exactly. They're like, oh, this line's moving. I'm like, I know. It's because I just got here. That's right. I'm a professional. Not to toot my own horn, but yeah. Sure. <laughs> so you, you've been doing it in five years. Have you seen any yep. like leaps and bounds as far as protocol goes? Um, I mean, like, has the it's always been that like spinny X-ray, <laughs> spinny. That's a word. Now. Uh, the the body scanner. Yes, that's changed. Um, that was it was called the back scatter when I started, and it that was that one had radiation in it, so yeah. they got rid of them. Oh God! It, it was a very low dosage. It was less powerful than a cell phone. Sure. Um, but but it made everybody freak out, of course. Of course. Um, but now they have the new one. It's uh, it doesn't. It's not an X-ray at all. It uses a millimeter wave technology. Which oh. I honestly can't, couldn't tell you what it what is, sure. um, but uh, it just looks for stuff like that's on your body. So like, if you have like a tissue in your pocket, it will find it. Really? It, yes. If you have uh, a cough drop in your pocket, it will find it. Like it's so. Wow. That's why, that's why we urge people, you know, take everything out of your pockets, and then they don't, and then they it the the machine picks it up, and then you got to pat them down. So you're touching their butt, touching the groin area. It's like okay, thank. You. Thank you so much. Yeah, exactly. uh, <laughs> <laughs> you just look him dead in the eyes. You're making me do this. <laughs> yes, pretty much. I, I was, I'd rather look at your ID. Yeah. <laughs> Man, that's pre that is pretty nuts. But that's good because that that just means there's a higher threshold for safety. Exactly. With more requirements like this. Yep. Gotcha. Okay. Especially okay. especially at my airport now, since uh, Trump is the president and uh, he's always he's down here all the time, going to Mar-a-Lago and whatnot. So. Sure. Our airport is on high alert all the time now. <laughs> that makes sense. That yep. makes sense. So you've seen Air Force One? I've seen Air Force One up close. Uh, his personal plane was up close the other day. Uh, I've seen Marine One. It's, uh, That's it's cool. There. Uh, C-130s, I think those are the big gray planes. Those are there. Sure. A-130s, I don't know. I'm not a plane guy. I'm not a big uh, military plane guy. Sure. Um, Looks the cool. Osprey, they, had, they had three Ospreys there the other day. Really? Yep, on the parked over by Marine One, and they were painted up in like a uh, navy green or the marine green color or whatever. Sure. Um, That's pardon pretty my, cool. Uh, ignorance on that. <laughs> sure. Oh, All right, for the military listening. Uh, dude, I'll make you feel better. I'm ignorant about everything. That's why yeah. I started a show, to learn. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so I, I saw, and we'll cut this out if you can't talk about it, but I saw that you got like a bunch of coins and stuff. Yeah. How, um, how did... Do, do they just have a bunch of coins? We're like, who wants them? And you're like, they have Air here. Force One coins. They were selling them, so I bought, I bought them, and then I, you know, gave them out to friends and whatnot. And then the Secret Service came by and dropped a bunch of coins off and said, "Here you go. What do you want?" I'm like, "Oh, thank you." Really? So they just travel <laughs> with coins? Yeah. And I've been carrying uh, the Five of First coins with me, so I'll trade them too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. I, just, I feel guilty. Like, oh, I don't, you know, I don't want to just take this from you. So I'll, here's a here's a Star Wars coin. And they're like, oh, this is cool. Like, I made a passengers' day when I gave her. She's like, oh, they came in. They uh, she was wearing like R2D2 socks and she had an R2D2 beanie on. And I gave her the coin and she's like freaking out. She's like, oh, I'm like no, keep it. She goes, what? I'm That's like, so yeah, cool. keep it. So I made her day or whatever. So, dude. But yeah, no, I got a I got a L.A. Secret Service coin. I got I'm from Los Angeles. It's really cool looking. It's got like a film reel on it. It's got the you know the Hollywood sign in the background with downtown L.A. and what? 
the sides of the coin on the edges. It's got like a film, uh, like a film strip around the all around the whole edge of the coin. It's really cool looking. Sure. Yeah. That's pretty funny. We're like your secret service. You also get coins. Yeah, you got <laughs> coins. Cool. Okay. <laughs> it's a little added benefit. Yeah. That's funny. So, what are the requirements to work for TSA, and have you seen Get Out? <laughs> uh, um, we'll start with the first question. Yes. <laughs> uh, the requirements: you have to be at least 18 years old, have a high school diploma, and be able to pass a background investigation. So, Sweet. really, anybody can do it. I mean, cool. Yeah, and uh, Get Out. I watched that for the first time about two weeks ago. Oh, perfect. That's why I waited so long to have you on. Yeah. No, it was a great movie. I know, and the TSA. Do you got TSA? Yeah, senses? That, well, that was the whole. That was the whole reason I wanted to watch it because I heard about him about yeah, that yeah. character. I was cracking up He's at the cool. house. I'm like, I'm glad I didn't see this in the theater because I would have been laughing for ten solid minutes out loud. Yeah, <laughs> Rod's the best part of that movie. Yeah, it's like my TSA senses are tingling. <laughs> <laughs> we have the same kind of training, you and I. It's about uh, you know, I'm doing, I'm doing my investigation. I'm like, I was cracking up. I'm yeah. like. <laughs> That is great. Like, I actually think mine was like more intensive because you know we're stopping terrorists and stuff. And you know, yeah. cops. <laughs> You're just cops. Oh, that was great. Oh, I was dying. And you know what? Spoiler alert: He saved the day. So he uh... saved the day because they handle shit. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Did you walk out of there and you're like, I'm TSA too. Hey, yep. Yeah. You're welcome. You're welcome. Just start shaking hands. Yeah. <laughs> that is awesome. So I, I, I can't have a TSA guy on and not ask if you've got any good stories. Um, good stories. Let me think. Put me on the spot here. Def, welcome to the interesting podcast. Right. Oh, it's, yes, it's interesting. I, you know, it's in the it's, title. It's that gotcha podcasting. <laughs> <laughs> interesting stories. I mean, I've... Yeah. You name it, I've seen it. Uh, intimate women's artifacts oh, in a bag. Oh, uh, no. oh, no. Not to go there right away. Um, <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. I mean, we found a gun the other day. I mean, it is what it is. Oh, loaded gun no. came. Yeah, loaded gun came through in a bag. What I mean, were they thinking? They weren't. I don't know. <laughs> Sheesh. What is, yeah, the, this... what is the protocol for that? Yeah, you call a supervisor over, supervisor notifies the sheriff's office and the rest of the airport, and then the sheriff's office comes over and takes it over from there. Sheesh. And then a bunch yeah. of, like, the people that are hiding in the bins pop out and just tackle them. Yeah. Like, you knew better. <laughs> you knew better. God, what they, <laughs> that is crazy. Yeah, I mean, but, hey, people think we don't, we never, we know, we're just, we're just there, and it's a false sense of security. No, it's not. It's a, you know, oh, that's we, real. Stop, real. we stop stuff all the time. You'll just never hear about it because... It's best. <laughs> yeah, that were the laughing stock of the media for whatever reason. So yeah, for sure. Uh, but cool. everybody has to be right. <laughs> yeah, of course. There's a, it's, a, it's a cycle, you know. Yeah. You change. You change uh, positions every half an hour. Same thing with that. Yep. That's crazy. Exactly. So you've uh, you've run into a bunch of celebrities as well. Yep. How uh, how does that go typically? Oh. <sighs> They come through like... the checkpoint. I don't. I don't really get starstruck with them. I'm trying. I try not to because I got to stay. You yeah, know. that's best. Got to be professional. And, you're, and you can't ask for pictures. I mean, well, at least I don't think you can. I've seen people on Facebook post pictures in uniform with them, but I don't. I just you know. Right. Um, Better safe than sorry. Yeah, exactly. Like I had Olivia Newton John. She came through uh, about four months ago. Like she was like the last person to come through that night, and she had a bag check. And I said, "Is this your bag?" And she goes, "Yeah." And I'm like, "You better shape up." because <laughs> I have to check your bag and she, she laughs and she's like oh I hear that all the time I'm like I know I know I, I couldn't help myself <laughs> <laughs> you caught me off guard with that one yeah yeah uh, see I mean I had Regis come through oh sweet because um, it's such a weird place an airport yeah in that, in that weird sense of like I have to do this to get to where I'm going and yeah. you can get some of the worst things. Yep, and people absolutely. and moods. Yep. yep. I've been I got you know, I've been yelled at by passengers. I got yelled at by a flight attendant last week. I'm like, all right, well, you have a great day. <laughs> like, I, I, that's, that's how I look at it. If you're gonna yell at me, I'm just gonna I'm either gonna go one of two ways. I'm either gonna be kill you with kindness or if you want I can turn on a switch and flip it around on you real quick because I'm never gonna see you again. Right. <laughs> so I see I see four thousand people a day. I'm not gonna remember who you are the next time you come through. Uh, you know, I mean, thousands of people a day. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. And, then, and we're a small airport too at Palm beach. I mean, I used to work in Fort Lauderdale and we're doing 5,000 a day on my checkpoint alone. Wow. And there's six checkpoints there. <laughs> Good Lord. It, yeah. Fort Lauderdale is massive. That's the and they've only got, yeah. And, they, and they've only gotten busier. Yeah. Man. That's pretty, yep. nu that's pretty nuts. That's pretty nuts. 
yeah, there's a there, there should be a, an appreciation for you guys, in my opinion. Because, uh, you know, you're just doing your job. Just doing my job, man. I'm just a human being like everybody yeah, else. I'm just a regular American hero. Yeah. I got this. <laughs> I got, you know, I, I, I heard about it. Yeah, of course. Of course. I heard of course. something the other day, and I can't remember what it was, but it said, I share this. Maybe it was in a song. I share the same fate as you. Like, I'm going to die one day. We're all going to die one day. I mean, not me. It's just, uh, not you. No. <laughs> I'm going to become a force ghost and live forever. That's right. <laughs> I always, I always said my goal is 150. I was like, 150. Yeah, I was like, given the the pace of technology. Given today's modern medicine, man, you, you, know, you know, live to be. I was like, dude, just at 90, like, plug me into a machine that makes me think I'm in Star Wars, <laughs> and then at 150, unplug me. <laughs> Disney will have it done next year. It's got to be. It's got to be. Going to be in a hotel that's going to think you're in Star Wars. Oh my god, I'm so excited about it. I know. I'm, I'm going to gonna... avoid opening day like the plague unless we get an invite. But other than that, I For will sure. be nowhere. Nowhere near that madness. The show. That's what makes me sad about like how amazing Star Wars Land is going to be. I was like, well, yep. we're not going to get in. <laughs> no. Dude. There's no, there's no way. I don't know how they're going to handle that. Right. right. They have to have a plan for it. They have to. Like, yeah. if We're tapping it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Just this kidding. park is at capacity at 1030 in the morning. Can, can you imagine? <laughs> like the crowds. I don't want to imagine. It's going to be insane. <laughs> So I oh, I do want to hit back on something that we talked about earlier. Star Wars yeah. Weekends. Okay. How many times did you go? Uh, one time in 2013, a handful in 14. I went every weekend in 2015. Gotcha. And, okay. And, yeah, it got it got busier. And I, you know, I made sure like I used my vacation days for Star Wars Weekends because I'm that much of a nerd. Yeah, of course. Like, I never I never go anywhere. I don't need to go anywhere. Oh, Star Wars Weekends. I'm give me every weekend off. I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> I just need these weekends from May to June, and I'm happy. Sure. Um, I had a. I, I, oh, it's, it's a lot of fun. Is it your favorite troop that you've done so far? Uh, yes. Well, no, I, that and I, I trooped in the Magic Kingdom for the Christmas parade a couple of years ago. What? Are you I in was, the video? I'm in the video, very briefly. Sweet. Hey, it but I'm, in the, I'm in the video as Boomer for a brief second. Yes. Hey, that counts. Canon. He's Kanan. on screen. <laughs> he's, Disney official. He's on, he's on screen on Disney property. That counts for me. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Just get a shirt with a screenshot of your second and be like, yeah. make this canon. <laughs> I'm hearing you, Bob Iger. <laughs> well, that's why I wanted to run into Filoni so bad. I just want to be like, dude, I'm wearing this costume. Just, just, I know Clone Wars is over. Yeah. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what you're doing after Rebels, but. If you could have an oh. artifact be Boomer's helmet, like yeah, Thrawn, Thrawn has art in his office. There's open doors here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm with you. I, oh. I went to, the, the so I didn't join the Legion until 20, I think 15, I believe, and um, I went to go to Star Wars Weekends the last year that they had it, okay. and I did not know that you weren't able to go back to your car. Yeah. And so I had my costume out, and, you know, they bring the dogs around, and then it's like, okay, time to suit up. And I'd left my boots in the car. So I was like, okay, oh. I was like, oh, I'm going to go get them really quick. Because I'd been back to my car like three or four times already, right. having gone into the park and bought stuff. And then uh, they're like, oh, you, you don't have your boots? I was like, no, I, I forgot them. Sorry. And they're like, well, you can't troop then. I was like, what do you mean? And they're like, well, they had the dogs come and they sniffed them, and, like, the dog's not here anymore, so you can't troop if you don't have your boots. Oh. And I was like, what? And I was so like you, you can't just visually inspect them. Yeah, because like I, I just didn't know. And they're like, well, you yeah. know, if it was like your tabard or something, like it's fine. But like boots, you can put stuff in. I was like, you can look at them. <laughs> right? Yeah, just, just we we got a TSA guy over here. Yeah, I, just dude, I should have done that. <laughs> <laughs> I should have done that. <laughs> but, I mean, luckily, like Dan was Dan was a uh, uh, squad yep. leader at the time. Yeah. And he like went to bat and like went and talked to some people. He's like, hey, is there anything we can do? And the Disney parks were like, no, nah, sorry. So oh. I was so bummed out because it was my first time ever going to Star Wars Weekends. Right. So the first time I had to watch the parade from the sidelines. Oh. Having brought the costume and been there since that like five in the morning. Sucks. I was so bummed, and that was the that that was the first weekend, and yep. the only other time that I was able to get in was the last weekend because the spots okay. fill up so quickly. Yeah. Uh, and I I luckily I learned my lesson, so I got to march the last time. Oh, that's awesome. In the okay. Parade. So I was like, thank God I made it in. Good to know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right at the end. Oh. That's man. all that matters. Yep. But yeah, Star Wars Weekends is amazing. It is amazing. I wish they would bring it back. I know. Well, with Star but, Wars Land, you never know. Uh, you never know. You never know. Always I mean, in motion, the future is. That's right. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I'll leave, it, I'll leave it in the hands of the Florida Garrison. That's right. That's right. Good luck to them. <laughs> Got a good staff down here. They can handle it. For real. If anybody can make it happen, it's them. 
I mean, I don't want to brag, but uh, Florida Gators and Everglades squad, we the best. That's right. I have so much pride in, in yes. our section. Me too. But yeah, this was a uh, this was really fun, man. Can you believe we're yeah, talking man. an hour already? I know. I I feel like we barely talked about anything. <laughs> I know. Welcome to the show. <laughs> have to have me on again. Yeah. Just kidding. For, no, I I so a lot of people have said that, which is really flattering and nice. Um, and for the first fifty episodes, I didn't want to have return guests okay. because I feel like if you start double dipping so early yeah then you're like okay wait a minute we're, we're not new people it's not progressing right uh, that's the wrong word but you know what i mean yeah uh but after 50 uh i'm trying really hard to get my dad to be episode 50 oh very cool because my dad is the most interesting man on the planet <laughs> and people people will learn he's like i want to sail the world he saved up money bought a boat taught himself to sail it in a year and then left to the south pacific Holy crap. I know. That's awesome. And like he's taught at the University of Hawaii. Like he's he started his own zoo. Like my dad's <laughs> crazy stuff. Wow. <laughs> and I was like, I can't have a show called The Interesting Podcast and not have the most interesting guy on the planet. Yeah, exactly. But, but he's fighting me on it. He's like, no. <laughs> he hates talking about it because his yeah. life has been so interesting that when he talks about it, people say he's lying. And he's, <laughs> and, and he's like, you know, I just don't like talking about it because I'm tired of being called a liar. <laughs> Yeah, and I was like, you know, that's a pretty good problem to have, Dad. <laughs> right. Your life is so crazy. That and like, nobody believes you. Yeah, I was like, I'm into that. Yeah. So that's what I'm thinking. But after episode 50, I'm gonna start having people back on. Cool, man. Yeah, keep me in mind. I'd be, I'd love to do it again. The show. This was fun. Awesome. Thank yeah, you man. again for coming on. Where can people Absolutely. find you online? Thank you for having me. Uh, find me at Instagram.com/slash Wookie Feet with two E's in yes. Wookie and Feet. <laughs> um, Instagram.com backslash Joe's Clone Shack. Yes. If you want to see some builds, mm-hmm. um, I have Twitter, um, Wookie Feet, and Denied by Flurry. Oh, sweet. <laughs> uh, based on hockey, uh, yep. Mark Andre Flurry, goalie, old goalie for the Penguins. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's one of my things. Um, other than that, uh, I'm around. <laughs> sweet. Real quick, where did, where did Wookie Feet come from? Uh, you know, I don't know. I had, when I first joined, I had my board name was Denied by Flurry because I was big into hockey and I didn't know what else to do. And I'm like, that's too long, and nobody else down here likes hockey besides me, so I'm going to change it. And then I looked at my feet. I'm like, my feet are big. What's Star Wars? Wookiees. Okay, Wookiee feet. All right, done. And there's it. Whatever. That is and incredible. I've been going back and forth with changing it again in the past couple months. I've been thinking about it really long and hard, but I don't know what to change it to. I mean, so Wookiee feet's it, pretty good. It, it is, but it may change. I don't know yet. Keep us posted. Uh, yeah, I'm going to throw that out there. Yeah. So. <laughs> so in that case, thank you again. This was great. Absolutely, man. Hey, enjoy your burrito. Hey, enjoy your burrito. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and...